48 draft lines serving all your favorite brews and a state-of-the-art cooler made for aging kicks. All the beer geeks in the world are going to love this. Maple bacon ice cream and one of the biggest burgers Phantom has ever found. It's huge. Whether you're putting back some pints, chowing on some food, or just trying to say the name of the restaurant, at New England's Tap House Grill, you're going to get more than a mouthful. Located in Hooksett, New Hampshire, New England's Tap House is the brainchild of owner Danielle Legur, who along with his wife Valerie has created a big space serving a superior selection of beers along with some serious eats. And they brought on event coordinator Stacy Breton to make sure that both the food and the mood were perfect. Our thing at the Tap House is making an experience for everyone and making it that unforgettable experience. So they've decked this massive space out with an open kitchen, two busy bars, and a sophisticated beer aging system in the center of it all. We're in the aging keg cooler. We have beers that are going to be aging for the next two to ten years. A lot of people are doing this in bottles, so it's something that's unique. Just as special is Chef Zach Thayer's menu. With everything from bacon meatloaf to cabot mac and cheese to honey sriracha wings and deep fried cheese curds. And since the owners both are from Montreal, Zach made sure to include some Canadian staples like the tender smoked meat sandwich served on house-made marble rye with spicy beer mustard or the incredibly indulgent poutine, or as they call it, Putsin. I will tell you, no matter what putsin you've had before, you will never have putsin like you're going to have here. It uses our house demi glaze, and it's got a truffle oil on it, Parmesan cheese, cheese curds with our crispy seasoned french fries, and it's salty, and it's savory, and it truly melts in your mouth. But there's no dish on the menu you and your friends are going to want to tap into, like the Tap Out Burger. It is three pounds of burger, two pounds of bun, it's a full slice tomato, six slices of bacon, six leaves of lettuce, a full large order of french fries, six onion rings, it's a lot of food. And while eating this burger is definitely a challenge, making it is most definitely a feat. So they ask customers to give the kitchen 24 hours notice so they can bake the bun fresh. It's definitely a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge to make it, and it's all made fresh. It's not a patty that we get from somewhere else. It's all hand-pressed, handmade right here. And flipping this monstrous patty takes a true master of the spatula. So the game plan is to take two spatulas, slide them under, and then very carefully and quickly flip it over without breaking it too much, hoping for a nice clean flip. From there, the cheese is melted and the bun is grilled in plenty of butter. Nice and golden brown. This is our house-made garlic aioli, fresh green leaf lettuce to cover it. We'll then put the equivalent of a whole tomato on here, and then we'll pile the burger on after. It's a head turner. It goes out, everybody sees it, they smell it. It's a huge photo op. And if you can finish it within an hour, it's yours. We don't charge you for anything, and we give you a t-shirt on top of it. For something more manageable, you can try the Popper Burger. Topped with spicy jalapeno poppers, you can also order as an appetizer. The Popper Burger uses our jalapeno poppers. The twist with the jalapeno poppers here is that they have maple infused into them. So they're spicy, but sweet. There's a barbecue pork queso skillet dip perfect for sharing, and an overloaded potato so big, it's actually an entree. The Tap House Tater is probably the most humongous potato you're ever going to see. Sliced in half and then load it up with whatever fixings you want. And nothing follows a plate of the Tap House bacon meatloaf better than a bowl of maple bacon ice cream, a dessert that puzzles patrons at first. And they go, oh, I'm not quite sure, bacon and ice cream? And then they taste it and voila, they're hooked. You have the vanilla that hits you first, then you have the maple bourbon sauce, and then on top of that, you have the little candied bacon that gives you that crunchiness, that meatiness, and the saltiness that you would get from the bacon, it's delicious. And while this may look like just another restaurant to some, Danielle and his staff are serious about service. You change people's lives every day. You have thousands of people that come in every week, and every week they leave with a different attitude because we care about the people we serve. We cherish the love of the food, the love of the beer. This is why we're here, and we take it seriously.